Because it's a service that is uh, unprogrammed, yes. wasn't thought out beforehand. And when you come back uh, Saturday night, or you go down to Punta Gorda tomorrow night to be with uh, Brother Stewart, um, you won't find the same service. You'll find Amen. something different. Something God will give. Oh, yes. And uh, I, uh, I just appreciate the fact that we have such an unusual God. And if he's so unusual, then he has an unusual church. All right. Amen. Amen. I don't like boring things, do you? I don't like to be bored by church. I don't like to feel like I'm in a cemetery. I like a place where there's life. Brother Harris said, we have life. And I tell you, every now and then, you ought to remind yourself, and I should, that we have life. We have life from God. Praise the Lord. Everybody pinch yourself right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. All right. You pinch yourself and remind yourself that you're here because God said you could be here. That God has been good to you. I don't care what the devil has tried to do. God has been good to you. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. He's a life-changing God. Yes, yes. He's a satisfying God. Yes, sir. And the devil would like to let you believe that all there is in this world is trouble and sorrow and all there is is uh, one debacle after another. Yes. But it isn't so. Amen. It isn't so. Amen. I saw uh, Sister Jeanette and Brother uh, Woodrow walk in a while ago. We prayed for you tonight before you got here. This is the couple that lost her brother. Uh, and he's with the Lord tonight. Amen. But you can back on this. He's with a life giver. Because death has never triumphed over God. Right. Never has and never will. And tonight I just feel like in the end of this meeting, everybody just zeroing in on accentuating the fact that God did not call us to death, but he called us to life. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, preacher, you say, do I hear an amen in it? Yes, yes. Amy, you came to a church that gives life. We don't preach death. We're not a sad group. No. Greg, I hope you, well, you know that by now, don't you, son? And we, we're, we're not at all. Uh, if you ever thought this was a church without emotions, you're wrong. We've got all kind of emotions here. Oh, yes. We've got all, we're very emotional here. Because my Jesus has given me something that my father couldn't give me, right. and my mother couldn't give me, right. and my friends couldn't give me. Right. Jesus gave me salvation. He, he delivered me from the pit of hell. Amen. He delivered me from the pit of death. Yes. He promised me that he's coming back for me. Yes. I believe he is. Yes. When the Lord touched Barbara over here tonight, and Patty was singing, Sister Barbara, that wasn't just something that happened. Amen. That was the great God of heaven yes, that came yes. down over you tonight, and you couldn't help but cry. Come on. You couldn't help but lift your hands. Yes. Just like I can't help right now, preaching. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And I'm glad I'm in an old-fashioned church where we can just stand up and tell it like it is. Yes. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Yes. I was blind, but now I see. Sister Joyce, you've got something to praise him about tonight. Because God brought you from somewhere. I want to read this scripture. This scripture will get you out of your chair. 
Amen. If you're not standing on your feet shouting before this is over, I don't know what in the world. Praise our God. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews of the second chapter, for as much, I want you to say that word after me. For as much. For as much. For as much them as the children are partakers of flesh and blood. All right now, look right on the screen. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood. Amen. Amen. He, he also himself likewise took part of the same that through death he might destroy it.
What the world are you doing up there, Carolyn? I'm trying to get you excited about Jesus. Amen. You say, Brother Mona, I can't get excited because I'm hurting. If you'll get on your feet and praise God and give him that glory, he'll take that pain. He'll take that suffering. He'll take that sorrow. I believe the church ought to be a place where people get saved and come to God. I believe the church ought to be a place where people find victory and life and peace and joy. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I want you to do something important. Everybody get on your feet and let's get a neighbor next to you. Reach over and get a friend and start praying and say, Lord, bless my neighbor and bless my friend. In the name of Jesus and the Holy Spirit.
Jocelyn, you want to say thank you? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> time here Saturday night, Sunday, it's going to be wonderful. So you bring a friend and Saturday night uh, fill this house with worshipers and give God the glory and give him the praise for all good things. Amen. Um, now we want you to bring Sunday, there's dinner in the dining room following the two o'clock service uh, and you bring potato salad, baked beans, coleslaw and dessert. Uh, potato salad, baked beans, coleslaw, and dessert. That's what we're having, and that's what we're to bring. Potato salad, mm -hmm. baked beans, coleslaw, and dessert. Thank you. Um, tomorrow evening, uh, if, Brother Paul, are you driving the van down? Yes. Ma You're driving the, you have the key to the big van if you need? Yes. All right, take the, take the big van. And uh, anyone and everyone that could go to public order tomorrow night, if you be blessed, and it will be a blessing to you. The van doesn't leave till about 6.15. It can leave as late as 6.30 and still get there in time. But we'd like to fill the van up tomorrow night. Uh, at least one of those, uh, the large van, for the passenger, and we have the other one if we had to have it. But let's get ready for a, a good service in Punagora. Amen. And then, uh, we'll rest a little while Friday, and then be back here Saturday night. Uh, go down though and hold up uh, Brother Stewart, Sister Stewart's hands. They, they're as tired as you are. They're as tired as you are. And you say, Brother Marlow, we've had a full night tonight. And go to down on them. Well, a friend of mine, uh, that these people that go, they're as tired as you might be. But they go and they lift up the name of the Lord <laughs> in coming order and let the light so shine. Um, so keep that in mind, and then keep that in mind, invite somebody with you over uh, the weekend to church, and everybody get acquainted here with Greg, and Amy, of course, we know her, but Greg, this is his first time, and um, do you have um, Brother uh, Woodrow, Sister Jeanette, uh, has there been arrangements made for your brother, uh, service that is, time of service, yet? Where's it going to be? Where? Where? The home on 30th Avenue East. On 30th Avenue East, yes. <coughs> All right. That's right off 1st um, Street. Yeah, uh, All right. And uh, some of us represent the church. Be there with you. Two, that's 2 o'clock Saturday. 2 o'clock Saturday. All right. And uh, we'll keep that in mind. Brother around me here, two o'clock Saturday, uh, the service for Brother James, her brother. That's all I have. I think that's all we need. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, we have a little something, and this is to honor um, two wonderful people that were married here. Their anniversary was the 17th, uh, but. We have a little gesture toward uh, Sister Patty and Brother Bernard. And it's in the dining room. Oh. And we have a little surprise for you and uh, all of you that want to go in and uh, get a piece of cake as long as it lasts. Uh, you know, it, it, I should have gotten a large one. But uh, it's in the dining room. And Patty and Brother Bernard, uh, why don't you come on first? <coughs> first. Uh, congratulations. So uh, go in the dining room, Brother Bernard and Patty, and uh, then we'll join you. As many as can stay and want to stay, can stay. And if you have to go, we understand. And uh, if they run out of cake before they get to you, I uh, just say praise the Lord anyhow. <laughs> and and uh, say thank you, Lord. Anyhow. Amen. All right. 
This is our surprise to them. They didn't know this was coming. This is a little gesture on our part to let them know we love them. May God bless you. Why don't we rise up together and give him praise? Praise the Lord. Amen. Father, we want to thank you tonight for a tremendous meeting, young people's meeting, and the service of the Lord here tonight. You blessed us, you've given us grace, and overshadowed us. And everybody mm -hmm. said, praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus, our King and Savior. All right, mix and mingle, and on your way to the dining room, if you're going.